Welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and joining me today is Totera. Hello, everyone. It's great to be back, and I am rich, and now I got all these games, that, uh, consoles that I can get before they're released. Yeah, and you got what, about $350 burning in your pocket? <laughs> Shh, no need to know. <laughs> Alright then, so anyway, in this discussion, we are going to talk about the new Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo OLED, as it's um, called now. So before we get right into the details, Terra, what do you think? Like, uh, are you excited for this rendition of the console? No. <laughs> no, alright. No. <laughs> uh, why, why? I honestly see no difference in the nor- normal one. Like, it has a few interesting tweaks and changes, but I don't know. I, I don't see I don't see much of a difference to me. Like, at least that's my opinion. Alrighty then. But okay, let's get into what's changed, what they added. So the Switch uh, OLED is well. Here are the changes. Um. It features a 7-inch OLED screen. Uh, The previous one was 6.2-inch LED screen. Uh, A new wider kickstand. And that's uh, got sent. Like, I mean, you have to appreciate the wider kickstand. Uh, Enhanced audio through new built-in speaker, which is kind of cool. And also a LAN port in the dock. That is also great for Smash Brothers who won't probably use it because they still want to use Wi-Fi. And also a 34 gigabyte internal storage, doubling the previous one, which was 32. So those are some of the new improvements. And the featured color is a panda switch, which is kind of interesting. Those changes don't really excite you or don't you don't feel any R, U, and R out of that? No, not really. I find most of it is more for the handheld option because, like, yeah, you got a 7-inch screen for, for, again, when it's handheld, not in the dock. And then you got the new stand, which, uh, okay, so the stand, it's pretty good because I know I still have my old, sw- I still have my Switch, and it still has that little peg stand, and it doesn't really <laughs> hold up as well, like, if, if you're, like, um, moving around, stuff like that. But if you're, like, at a table with a bunch of people, then yeah, it'll stand unless you got the people that are like really mad and they, they hit their fist on the table and, and it might fall. And it also, it always looks like that's going to break. But at least with this one, it's the whole, it's the whole switch. So it's like, okay, you know, this holds better and you can make it go all the way down flat. Like you can bend it as much as you want where the old one, you can't do that. And then aside from that, it's like, I don't really, Again, it's all for handheld. Like, ooh, the big difference is for the dock is that now it has a built-in LAN port. And that it has... Yeah, that's pretty much it for the dock. Everything else, it's all about the switch and handheld. Like, enhanced audio and handheld. It has more space. The stand, the screen. I don't... If if it's for people that let go out a lot and like to carry the switch, that's fine. But most of the time when I'm playing my switch, it's on the console, on, on the TV. So that's why I don't see much of... You know, wanted me going. Oh, I need this in my life. <laughs> All right, yeah, I I totally get it. I totally get it. And for me, uh, in all honesty, I uh, I don't have a switch, but I do have a friend who has a switch that I sometimes play on their switch. And the thing is, um, from what I can tell and from what I experience, uh, you you don't really want to bring it out a lot i mean this this is based on some people like if you are the type of person who do like to go out and bring your console or in in this case like bring a portable gaming system with you then yeah the switch is cool and all but in all honesty i for, how, how do i put this i don't have a switch but i would love to have a switch but I don't know if I want to get this one because here, here's my reasoning. Oh, and also from what I heard from rumors and whatnot, uh, Nintendo commissioned Samsung for their OLED uh, screens, but because of the pandemic, they couldn't 
really capitalize on doing a Switch Pro because, well, you know, COVID and whatnot. Yeah. So they couldn't really do new stuff. Also, the chip shortage and a lot of other things really pile on to not getting a new model out. And also, if you really think about it, if they do bring out a new model, like a new enhanced model, uh, with how things are going right now, it's just going to be very bad. Like the PS5 shortage, or not really shortage, like they sold their accumulated amount. It's just the scalpers are just buying at it and just hoarding them to yeah. sell at a higher price. So I don't think Nintendo wants that, but who am I to say? Yeah. All in all, for me, if I don't have a Switch and I can't wait, I'll probably get this one. And it's only $350 American. Uh, if, it, what, uh, the previous price was about 300 was it? I so, believe so. Yeah, so it's like give or take, pick which one you really want kind of deal. So, all in all, um, it depends on what you want. Yeah. So, the, the new panda colors is kind of cool, but at the same time too, it's white. And white doesn't usually go well with the environment. Yeah, because you want to have colors that pop out with, like, your furniture or something. No, not that. It's just that uh, white tends to discolor due to the elements. And also, if you have Cheeto fingers, like, oh no. Yeah, that's true too. The only uh, cool thing I noticed here is the dock. And the dock has a few improvements. It's The top is... Or the top edge is rounded and there's two USB ports in the outside of uh two USB ports outside the dock. Yeah. Uh, there's a LAN uh what well, there's a LAN uh adapter f- built in, which is good. And what else can I say? Uh nothing much because that's about it. That, that's the only enhance that I can see. But in all honesty, Tara, would you insert a LAN cable into your console? I mean, you have a PS4, so do you do it? It depends very, because I know Nintendo's um, internet service isn't really the greatest. Because I know a lot of people would be like, yeah, you know, I get a lot of lags. I can't really play games normally. And I do have my moments where it's like, I'm trying to play a Nintendo Switch game online, but the connection would be so bad. And it's like, I just want to play a game with some people, but I can't because it's bad. So I don't know if, like, I think it could be too because of the, um, the Wi Fi. Like, I think, because I know um, when I directly connected the LAN cable into my Switch, it, I n- really saw any problems, but I think it also depends on who you play with. Like, for example, if, um, say, you want to play with a friend. Uh, say, for example, me and Norman, we're going to play together. I have my Switch yes. directly connected to the LAN cable. He doesn't, so th- we have a little bit of lag. But if, say, Norman has his directly connected to the internet with a LAN cable, then we both will be playing just fine. So I think it's one of those things where you need to both have kind of like the same connection. Yeah, that is also true. And also, um, okay, uh, there's a bit of discrepancy between uh, the current Switch that's out right now. Um, the Switch... Right now, not everybody has a, or not many people know that a LAN adapter exists. Yes. I'm guessing you bought one, right? Yes, I do, actually. I should have said that, too. I have a LAN adapter, and I connect it to my Switch. Yeah, so you have to buy that extra. And did you remember how much you bought it? Uh, I got it for a pretty cheap price. $20, $30, something like that? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so... uh, with what, uh, with your switch, which is right now, sorry, uh, the, with the price switch right now is at three hundred dollars. You add in, let's just say thirty dollars at the most for a LAN adapter, and also, yeah, I mean, the additional fifty dollars is kind of an okay thing if you're, if you want to, get a switch because some of the improvements that you will get from the OLED version is, well, an OLED, 7-inch OLED screen, uh, improved audio, and 
improve internal memory and a LAN adapter for the dock, which is all in all okay for the increment of $50. Other than that, like, yeah, <laughs> either you wait for Pro or get this one if you really can't wait. I'm really in no rush to get anything. I'm I'm fine with my Switch. <laughs> oh yeah, like like you, but you know honestly, like the in like the what thirty two gig, uh, internal memory doesn't really bother you because everybody knows that once you get a Switch, you'll go buy a what you call this um memory stick, S- a, SD card. Yes, a, a SD card. You you go buy an SD card and pop it pop it in you get what 200 or 1 gig or whatever it is whatever the support is like you go do that and what memory problem I don't have a memory problem (laughs) Uh, memory issues for the switch is not really an issue they straight out says that you can buy memory cards we even sell you the uh, SD card with Nintendo labeling so it's like yeah that's not an issue (laughs) But um, back to what I was saying about the LAN adapter, that one there, yeah, that, that one there is a good purchase or a good thing to have because what? Uh, you mentioned that if you have one, your friend doesn't have one, so nobody really, uh, the, the quality is not going to be great. But now that if everybody has it, the idea is that, okay, now that everybody has a LAN adapter, or a landline to plug it in, uh, they're going to have stable internet. But you'll still have people that won't do it because I believe Wi-Fi is good. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so there's going to be a problem there. That's about it. Um, um, I say if you don't have a switch, this is something that you can buy. If you don't have what um, a switch and want to get a switch, and not afraid of the Switch Pro... <laughs> Yeah, because at this point, it's like a Switch Pro, because I know other companies do it. It's like, oh, here's an Xbox One. Then, oh, here's an Xbox One Slim. It's the pretty much the same thing, but more slimmer. That too, and also what, the PSP Pro? Sorry, uh, the PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah, I, I remember those, what you call this, uh, days of the uh, improved hardware and whatnot. But at the same time too, you have to think about how to put this? Um, you have to think about uh, not segregating the market or your customer base because if you have a better console, a better version of a console, that doesn't mean everybody has it. So when you make a game, you have to think about the whole spectrum of customers that you or user base that they have from the what PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation 4 Classic to the Slim to the Pro and they have to make sure that all the games can be played on it so at the same time too is there any improvement? I guess for the Pro you have your you, you can control the whatever it is uh, what do you call this uh, frame rate or quality and whatnot. I, I guess you can do that yeah and with the Switch, if there is a Switch Pro, you can't really boost up the quality so much that it might segregate the market. Like, remember the uh, uh, the new 3DS? Uh, what, the 2DS? No, 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 the new 3DS, like the Nintendo Oh, yes, yes, I, I remember now. Yeah, like... Uh, not many games were made for it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yep, so you, you don't want to do that. No. Yeah. So other than that, I guess, yep, uh, Nintendo seems to know what they're doing and I guess they have this then, yay. <laughs> A panda colors, those, those, that's very interesting. Yeah. I'm, oh, I forgot, sorry. What? I was going to say, they can always change the colors by getting different uh, controllers, so that way it's not oh, panda yeah, colors. Yeah, I forgot to mention. Yeah, so I, I forgot to mention that uh, the cl- your your current Switch controllers that you have a collection can still work with the new Switch. 
So basically, you're not really wasting cash if you have it. So that's a positive there, I think. Unless you want to like now all of a sudden get a black and white uh, Nintendo Switch color, then you have to buy more colors. True, I guess. But I mean, if you really have a, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the semantics. Yeah. But no, uh, if you don't like the color white, you can always use stickers to decorate it. Uh, uh, I'm not sponsored or anything, but uh, <laughs> the company D Brand, <laughs> uh, the company D Brand does a lot of nice uh, stickers that fits perfectly. So that's something to consider if you're uh, going that route. Anyway, overall, Terra, what do you have to say? In my opinion, uh, I don't really see much of a difference unless you're the type that goes out a lot and has the switch in handheld mode. But at the same time, that this just clicked in my head too. If you're gonna go out hand, if this thing has a lot of upgrades for handheld mode, why didn't they just do a uh, pro version for the Switch handheld mode? Because they already have a Nintendo Switch that's just for handheld, and now they have all these upgrades that's mostly for handheld. Oh, that's true. The Switch Lite. Yeah, the Switch Lite. That's it. I th- uh, yeah. What's what's the point? But again, if you like both, then I guess you can go for this. Or like Norman said, if you don't have the Switch, then go for it. But for me, it's like, yeah, because it's my opinion. Most of the time I play at home with it. So, yeah, I, I don't see myself getting it. Yeah. And as for me, I, I okay, I, I don't have a Switch. So this kind of piques my interest. But at the same time, too, it's not really because I I can just wait for a bit and hope that there's a Switch Pro coming out. I mean, if there's a Switch Pro coming out, I am happy. If not, it doesn't really bother me. And I noticed that there's the classic black with uh, neon blue and red. So, yeah, you still have your classic colors. So, yeah, um, I guess let's wrap it up because... In the end, uh, if you enjoy uh, this Switch as it is, uh, you can go buy it. If not, then not. So let's wrap things up. Where is my script? Anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at emissionchimmer.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter, the show's Twitter account is at NBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Terra, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortero1324, or they can just do a Google search, and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go check him out, guys. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, stitch radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyRealLife.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, I have been Roman Sanzo. And I am Tortera. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Mia Show. See ya. Bye-bye. So, yeah. Panda Switch. That's something new. Yep, I and guess. I am selling it for $900. What? No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scapple. Ah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I I messed that word up. Yeah, you did. (laughs) Bye.